Well, welcome back to my reviews. And this time I've got some some more toy soldiers. And this time I've got some more toy soldiers, some Britons Limited. These are Eyes Right figures. The Eyes Right series were a uh, were different sets uh, of troops in review order. Always well detailed and uh, well painted too. And they were better painted than the regular series of figures that the Britons had. These ones here are the Scots Guards. There you have an officer with sword and five troopers marching. And a little display box. Got a little write up on the back of the box. Britain's Limited, the largest manufacturer of toy soldiers in the world whose factories are in London, England, have been making toys for over a hundred years. These plastic models are amongst our most popular products. A great deal of research is required to ensure the correct regimental detail, and only highly skilled craftsmen finish these individually hand-painted figures. All Britain's models are accurately scaled to 1 32nd of their actual size, which is known as the standard size. We take great pride and pleasure in producing these models to the highest degree of authenticity and detail. And L. D. Britons, which would be Dennis Britons, Managing Director. There's uh, William Britton. 1828 to 1906. Authentic regimental scale models. And here's another box that I've opened up so that the display tray is out. These ones are the Scots Guards Color Party. Two color sergeants and three troopers. And they've got paper paper flags. Which uh, they used back then with their soldiers you can see the detail that went into these figures Here's some more figures in this uh, it's a little bigger presentation box. It's the uh, British Infantry and the American Infantry of the American War of Independence. Quite well done, actually very well done. Got six figures of each in here. British Grenadiers, one standing at the ready, one marching, one advancing, one reloading, one firing, and one kneeling firing.
very well detailed. Even down to the uh, musket. Same with the uh, Continental troops. One kneeling, firing, standing, firing, reloading. At the ready. Marching. And then a scout. Back of the box has got some history. Um, some line drawings of some of the highlights leading up to the war. There's an old address for uh, Britons, King's Cross Road. When Britons first got into the plastic soldiers in the early 50s, they bought out um, a company called Herald. And This is one of the earlier Herald boxes. It's kind of a generic box that had different uh, groups of soldiers you could get in it. This one has got the uh, British Infantry. They're pretty cool. Well detailed. There's one advancing. An officer. Another charging with a rifle and bayonet and full pack. Radio operator. Kneeling rifleman. Uh, wounded soldier got shot. Grenade thrower. And a standing rifleman. These soldiers are all held in with thread. The box is uh, pretty ancient and there's not much left to the box top but it still seems to be there. Made in England Khaki infantryman, 8730.2, I guess. Herald Series, Unbreakable Model Soldiers. The Herald name lasted up into the 70s, and then uh, by then they were all made in Hong Kong. And was finally discontinued in the mid to late 70s. And all their soldiers were just uh, Britons limited after that. Still pretty nice, uh, pretty nice work.
these are Harold figures too and originally they would have come on a little cardboard stand with these guard posts included these are plastic quite well detailed these ones got the movable arm rifle with bayonet soldier with battle dress Very nice. Here's some more soldiers from Britain's. These ones here came out in the early 70s. And uh, they were advertised as Britain's new metal. So they weren't lead anymore. They were um, probably a zinc alloy. Britain's discontinued their lead figures in 1966 and then uh, pretty well went into just plastic figures. So these were a bit of a change. Actually very nice figures. I remember seeing these on the shelves when they first came out. There'd be a box full of uh, kind of uh, several rows of these figures and you just take one or two out, whatever you wanted. And they didn't have much variety in uh, the type of figures. There was the uh, guard here, the bee feeder, and the horse guard, or the lifeguard. That was about it. I think they had a horse guard too in some of the some of the variety packs. I always liked them though. Um, picked these ones up years ago from a show. The guy had a bunch. And I also got a hold of a uh, bigger display box. This one was six figures in it. Two lifeguards, two guards, and uh, two bee feeders. I think the box designs are what attracted me most to these. Quite well done. Traditional models and solid metal with plastic accessories and painted made in England well I hope you like this uh, fairly short review on some Britain soldiers an idea what used to be out there and what is out there. Some of the eyes right. The old Herald figures. I 
Revolutionary War. And the new metal, Britain's new metal in the 70s. All these figures are pretty impressive and uh, really high quality. I've always enjoyed collecting Britons and um, can't go too wrong with these toy soldiers for quality. Even the new metal figures are, I think, impressive. Their finishes. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. And, um, hope to see you again. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.